video, we're going to look at lists. Typically, we're going to work with bulleted lists, which is the way these appear, even though I have not actually officially put them in that way. You should start a list with OL or UL. OL will give you an ordered list, though I actually overrode that in my CSS. Let me change that to UL. There we go. For a UL, that's an unordered list. For an OL, that's an ordered list. An unordered list is typically bullets, and an ordered list is typically numbers. So I'm going to put in some code for an ordered list here, too. List style type. Now for ordered lists, we can change it to upper alpha. We can change it to lower alpha. We can change it to upper Roman, you get the picture. You can, you have lots of options for each one. I'm going to go back to my source code here and we're going to change, that's our ordered list. We're going to make this one an unordered list. Actually, I really want that reversed. My outline was meant to be, so that's unordered. And this one's going to be ordered. And the reason I'm doing this as an ordered list is because I had this set up to turn into an outline. So let me close it there and take a look. Okay, so right now I'm Roman numerals. And you'll see that I'm at, look, I'm an outline. And we're going to say that this is level one. This would actually be a, let's say H4 instead of part of the list. Okay, then this is level one. We're gonna leave that be. For level two, what I wanna do is put another ordered list inside of it, and that's going to make it come in a level. I want this not to be broken by my, that should be on the outside. You don't want to break that. You don't want to put anything between the ordered list and the list title. That's bad. So we've got level one. And then I need to close my ordered list. There we go and that makes it tab in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Those are all level ones. And then we may want to actually assign classes to these. So we're going to say our level two class equals letters. I do class equals letters. And we'll flip back over to my CSS. And we'll add a class here, which should be dot letters. I hope that's right. Sometimes I forget which one's class and which one's, I always forget which one's class and which one's um, ID. But for this we're going to want list style type and this does a pretty good job. You can actually pick in here lower alpha 
There we go. And that makes it, I don't think that's actually proper. I think we probably want upper alpha. Okay, but as you can see, you can change this little tab in and you can make it all nicely outlined. You can also use an image by doing list style image. And I've already put this in here. I'm going to use bullet.png. I just drew something up real quick in Illustrator. And you can see you can put your images in there. You can also have a list style type of none. And that makes the bullets go away even though it's in a list factor. So those are the common ways you're going to do lists. You're going to create an outline for me, like an outline of a paper. I will let you pick the topic, um, but I want you to create an outline that is at least three levels deep on any topic that you're interested in.